Sentence. What's up, young man? What's up, man? You, you, let me ask you a question. How old are you? 16? You believe the Bible is a real book? How do you know it's a real book? Jesus spread the word, alright? So you believe in Jesus? This Jesus here? Is this Jesus? What? So the brother said he don't know what Jesus looked like. First he said yes, and then he checked his spirit, and he said, no, 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 we don't know what Jesus looked like. Well, guess what? Give me John 4, 22. I'm going to show you something. John 4, 22. You see the people that go here and teach us the Bible all this time? They don't know nothing about God. And they haven't been teaching us nothing. Right? That's why when you ask them, what Jesus looked like? He invisible, he candy man, he looked like candy man. He look like a Casper, a puff of smoke. He don't have no, he don't have no image. That's a lie. I'm going to show you what God the Father look like and what Jesus Christ look like. Come on. John chapter 4 verse 22. Read. Ye worship, ye know not what. People worship in Christianity, but they don't know what they worship. And they teach us the same thing. So we pray and they say, it don't matter what Jesus look like, but you know what they give us? They give us white Jesus. So when we pray, Guess what's in our head? This. This is what's in our head. It's the truth, man. This is what we know all our lives. But Jesus, what, what did the Bible say? Ye worship. When we worship, ye know not what. We don't know what we were worshiping as a race of people. We don't. We know what we worship. But us that repent over here, we know what we worship because we study the Bible. Sister, right. how you doing, sister? Who is this? She said, Christ. Read it again from the beginning. I want you to listen very carefully. Read on. Ye worship. You worship because you, you believe the Bible. He, as well, he said he believed the Bible, right? But he worship. Come on. Ye know not what. But you don't know what you worship. I'm going to show you why you don't know what you're worshiping. Read on. We know what we worship. We know what we worship because we follow the Bible to the T. Read on. For salvation. Hey. For salvation is of the Jews. Is of the what? Is of the Jews. Salvation belongs to the Jews. Who are the Jews? Give me that Jeremiah 14 and 2. I'm making a point to connect with this. Salvation. What is salvation? What, 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 what is salvation? It means to get saved. That's just the big word to mean you're going to get saved by Jesus. He says Jesus is going to save the Jews. Because in Christianity, this is not in the Bible. And the people that taught this says, guess what? Jesus is going to save everybody. Right? They teach you a false image and a false doctrine that Jesus is going to save everybody. He worship. He do not know what you worship for salvation is of the Jews. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Salvation is of the Jews. Who are the Jews? Today you're going to find out. And that's the good news. That's the gospel. That's Read on. Judah moved. Judah is suffering. Jew come from the word Judah. Watch it. You see that? These are the 12 tribes of Israel. This is God chosen people right here. This is Judah. Before they call you black American. Because it was a white man that conquered this land and called it America. So that means that could not be the name of our race. In history forever. You understand? So guess what? This America, Americans today, the black Americans in history, this is their real name, Judah. You understand? Right. But they call all of the tribes Jews. Right. This is our history. Nobody can teach us. Read it again. Bring it out. Judah mourning. Jude, the Jews is suffering. Mourning is suffering. Read on. And the gates thereof languish. Come on. They are black. What the Bible said about the Jews? Oh. Black. No, they are white. They are black. The Bible said the Jews are black. Yes. Salvation is for the Jews. Yes. Salvation is for black people. Why? Give me Matthew 121. Because Jesus said his own words. My brother, let me ask you a question. Who did Jesus Christ come to save, young, young man? Yes. Who did Jesus Christ? I know you my elder. I just, yeah, yeah. Let's take it as a compliment. Yes. Who did Jesus Christ come to save, my brother? Us. Us. Who's us? Very good, because guess what? We're going to prove it in the Bible. And no one out here can come and show us where salvation is for all nations. Nobody else. We pack up and leave. 
they cannot find a scripture. What we got to start doing as a people is start reading. In slavery, they banned us from reading the Bible. Matthew 1, 21. Come on. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Read. Yeah. And she shall bring forth a son. Mary going to bring forth a son. Read. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Who are we talking about? Jesus Christ. Come on. For he shall save his people. We just read that over in John. He shall save his people people his people his is possessive who is his people give me chronicles 17 22 and matthew 2 and 6 who is his people remember who could tell me out here what what race did jesus christ born what was his race he sprang out of where no not egyptian huh well that's over in that area but he came out of Israel, right? Out of the tribe of Judah. We gotta get that as well. Hebrews 7. Come on. First Chronicles chapter 17, verse 22. Listen carefully. For thy people, Israel. For thy people who? Israel. He said he shall save his people. Who is this people? Israel. Read it again from the top. For thy people, Israel. He come to save his people. Is the Israelites these people? Read on. Didst thou make thine own people? God made us his own people. Read on. Forever. How long? Forever. Sister, you hear that? God made us his own people. Forever. Go back. Go back. So, you see where we're going with this. If God chose you and he said, I'm going to put you to rule this earth, as long as you change, repent, get out of Christianity, idol worshiping. Right. You understand? Stop smoking weed. Right. Stop committing adultery. Right. These are the things that we love as a people. We got to change. Right. Stop hating each other. Look at the murdering happening in the Bronx. The young men. Right. You, know, right. you know your friends. All of them is savages, monsters. Right. Do you know the Bible talk about what's going on in the Bronx? Give me that first. Ezra chapter 5 verse 8. God prophesied all these things would happen in the last days. He said they're going to be, the young men are going to be monsters. Bring it out. They're going to kill each other. Look at what's happening with all the drill rappers. Huh? What do you call him? What? Um, give me one of the drill rappers, man. What's his name? What's his name, man? K Flock. K Flock. I was about to say K Rock. K Flock. Oh, and all these drill rappers, look at the culture. It's hatred. That we have you know why they hate each other like that because they don't know give me that first and then give me hosea 4 and 1. ezra 5 and 8 read second ezra chapter 5 verse 7 and the son of my sea shall cast out fish so this is talking about in the last days things gonna happen right he said in the last day the sodomite is see what's a sodomite homosexuality and lesbianism God said, shall cast out fish. You know, Jamaicans call them fish, right? That's what the Bible called them also. The Sodomite Sea is talking about America. America puts homosexuality throughout the world. Shall cast out fish. Read on. And make a noise in the night. Come on. Which many have not known. Come on. But they shall all hear the voice thereof. Read. There shall be a confusion also in many places. You see what's happening in the Middle East? The wars starting up. That's why he's talking about confusions and wars rising up in many places. Read. And the wild beast shall change their places. Come on. And menstruous women. And this wicked woman, read, shall bring forth monsters. Monsters. He's talking about the young children that murder each other with all that drilling. You understand? Monsters. That's what God called them. Wicked women shall bring forth monsters. Don't follow them, brother. Else yeah. you're going to end up dead like K. Flat. Or in prison. That's just the results. Look at it. Let's look into the history. If you follow any or one of these gangs, taking drugs and being on all that gangster stuff, that's where you're going to end up. You know why? Because God is the judge. Sometimes you think you escape the police, but guess what? God is judging us. That's what we don't understand. Give me Isaiah 42 22. Right? I'm going to show you. God is the one judging us. Isaiah 42, 22. Then give me Hosea 4 and 1. Come on. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. Come on. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. You see, black people, we were 
just robbed and destroyed from we don't even have a country we ain't got nothing listen young man listen what the bible said about black people because you ain't never gonna hear this in your church all your years are going to church come on but this is a people robbed and spoiled god said we was robbed we was robbed and brought here on slave ships and we still serving our enemies and we spoiled we spoiled because we know nothing about god anymore we don't have no true heritage no more heritage is to twerk and to kill each other and push rap hatred right. in our community. Right? We don't know love our neighbors ourselves. We don't know nothing about God and the Bible no more. That's why he said we spoil. We spoil for lack of knowledge. That's how we spoil. We don't. They are all of them snared in holes. Snared in holes. Listen to this. Read. And they are hid in prison houses. Prison houses. God said we filling up the jailhouse. God said the black and Hispanic man is filling up the jails. Right. Tell me that prophecy and real. Who said the Bible not real? God said the jail is filled with blacks and Hispanics because they destroy for lack of knowledge. Read on. They are for prey. They are for what? They are for prey. And that's what the black man don't understand today. You are for prey. Who's the one making the drugs and the guns? It ain't black people, brothers. It's time for us to wake up. They build a jail. Jail is big business for the country. And we all fall victims to these things. You understand me? We fall victims to these things. Who is paying the, the labels? Who own the labels? These Jewish people that pay to push crime and promiscuity in our community. Who is doing this? Huh? Read on. They are for a prey. They are for a prey. We are a prey. Who is the predator? The other nations. They keep us at the bottom. We don't. And nobody saves us. None deliver it. No matter how much you vote every year, and nobody save us from the conditions we live in. Nobody save us from, 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 from going to prisons. You understand me? Nobody save us out of poverty. And no politician, no Obama, nobody. We don't. For a spoil! For a spoil, come on! And none say restore! And none say restore, not even your pastor! See that it's a problem in our community. You don't hear the pastor? All this wickedness going on, all this poverty, all this destruction amongst our races, it doesn't even exist in Christianity. You never hear the pastors talk about what's going on with us. The oppression! Have you ever gone to church and hear the pastor talking about the oppression of your people? Have you ever? No! You're never going to hear them talk about their oppression. What's your name, man? Huh? All right, because guess what? The people in Africa are the Israelites. Not all, but the people that went through slavery are the Israelites as well. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.